YouTube land. What's up? It's your girl Makar here from Cougar's Closet tonight. And tonight we are going to be talking about v steam something very interesting and very, very controversial. So, um, for those that don't know what v steams are, um, this conversation is sweeping the internet by storm, and it has been, I'd say, about the last uh, that I am aware of, uh, maybe about the last three to five years. I was at home, uh, minding my own business, and out of nowhere, um, this conversation from all these different ladies about V Steam starts sweeping the internet. Start sweeping the internet. So I said, "What is this they speak of V Steams?" So uh, they are called vaginal steams. And this happens to be, like I said, the most controversial topic uh, known to man as far as I'm concerned because I can't get down to the bottom of them. Are they okay to do? Are they not okay to do? What's going on with them? And I have been doing research on these things for a while. I still can't get a clear answer if they're okay to do. So let's dive in. For those uh, who don't know, there's this new trend that's um, hitting the airwaves and running called V steams and vaginal steams. So what the, what it is 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 where you steam your you know private area, and um, you are supposed to be able to if you want either go see um, like a massage place they offer these services, or you can go on Amazon. And you can get like these little um, toilet bowls or whatever that you sit on. And they come with herbs. And you basically um, put the herbs into this little, uh, this little bowl that you're going to be sitting on. And you steam it. You get the water as hot as you can to produce steam. Um, but you're supposed to get it so hot because, you know, the body is already sensitive. And you are supposed to sit on it and let the vapors and the steam come up. And they claim um, that this method is a method that the uh, ancient Egyptians used back in the day. And it was how they cleansed themselves. And they claim that this, um, this method right here, that it's supposed to detox you down there. And it, it's supposed to clean all these things. It's, it's supposed to um, help with fertility for a lady, you know, um, that's, you know, wanting to have kids or whatever. It's, it's supposed to help with migraines. It, it's supposed to detox uh, the uterus and the ovaries. Uh, it, it, it's supposed to... Um, it's just supposed to help with hemorrhoids, clear up yeast infections. It's, it's supposed to be doing all of these things. So um, they were claiming that women are supposed to be and should be doing these things all along. So uh, where it gets rocky is is because I uh, I called. No, I'm sorry. I was walking in my complex or whatever the other day when I was washing clothes. And I see that there is a V-steaming place over there. So that's what made me bring this topic back up. Because I was so uh, wanting to know, you know, if it was a go or not that I was about to call my doctor and, f and find out what she thinks about it. And so um, I did some research on it. Like I said, I've been researching this for a while, y'all. And different people are saying different things. Like some ladies are saying that they did it and they ended up getting second degree burns down there. Um, some women are saying that they, after they did it, um, it gave them a bad, bad yeast infection. Uh, they had these bad, bad cramps. It threw their pH balance off. Um, that they had to go get medicine from the doctor to get their pH back. Um, all these weird things uh, were going on with them when they um, when they took this, when they did this V-steam. But then there are some women that say, oh, no, it, it rejuvenates. Uh, it detoxifies you. Um, it, 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 it makes you more uh, moist, and it does all of these things. 
but and so then they had uh, two different doctors uh, on there, and I listened to both doctors, and and one doctor, she was pushing the steams, um, she was saying all these things and all these benefits, you know, that this V steam does for you, and then uh, there was a black doctor on there, and she was saying, look, y'all. If y'all got all this stuff, uh, yeast infections and hemorrhoids and all of this stuff going on, y'all need to get to the doctor. Y'all don't need no v steams. Y'all need to get to the doctor. So, I was wondering if that was a good method to try or not. So, it, it, it's kind of uh, topsy-turvy. You know what I mean? Um... There are women on there um, saying that they've had excellent benefits from it. There's women on there saying that they have had horrible, horrible uh, experiences from it. That they would not recommend it. Because uh, some of the women that were saying that when they do their cleaning or whatever, that um, after you clean, you won't notice anything. But they say make sure you wear like some type of protection because... Um, you know, a couple of days later, about a week, that uh, the steam will soften all these uh, things up that's up there, all this hard bacteria that uh, was on the uterus and that was on the ovaries, and it, it brings it down. And it, it sheds and it cleans everything. But then on the flip side of it, on the uh, con side of it, uh, some of the doctors were saying, no, that's not right, that, that, is taking your lining away, the lining that protects your body and, and, and uh, keeps, uh, it, that's the barrier that keeps other things out uh, from coming into your body. So they were saying, you know, um, you know, when you do these V steams, you know, the, the steams basically, because you know, uh, steam opens up the pores. So they were saying when you do these things, that basically, is opening up and you are making yourself more susceptible to uh, any type of diseases. So, I don't know, because I was, like I said, I saw this place around the corner, y'all, and I said, well, maybe I might give it a try. And some said, no, McCarl, you know how you is. You be the walk out there. Itching and burning and spitting fireballs all over the place. So you better not try that. And I was going to call my doctor and see what she recommended if she thought it was okay to do. But you know how doctors are. Uh, they're they're going to tell you to come see them anyway. Um, but I just know too, they were talking about like some of these uh, people that was recommending that you do this V-Steam. They were talking about that it throws uh, your pH balance off and that you should, after you do it, you should follow it with a certain type of wash. Um, and this wash helps regulate and get your pH balance back where it's supposed to be at. But I find that hard to believe because um, I know myself, like, my body doesn't like all of this uh Stuff that they have out here, uh, these washes and stuff, you know, my body is very sensitive. And when I try different things, I get irritated to, to certain things just as well as uh, I'm sure plenty of other women do. And, and I've had these conversations uh, with my girlfriends. And um, some things um, throws our bodies off anyway. And so uh, the washes that they were recommending... I know that doesn't work for me. And so, um, it was just all this back and forth, y'all. All this back and forth, all this back and forth on YouTube about uh, what this V-Steam does. Uh, the, the benefits of it and why you should try it. And then there was uh, uh, the, the not benefits of it and why you not should try it and what you should not do to your body. And, and, and some of the doctors are saying, you know, there's no need uh, for, for this steam to take place because uh, a woman's body down there, you know, is like an oven. It cleans itself. 
So there's no need for a lady to go in and do all of these things and make herself, you know, open to other uh, bacteria and other diseases. She would only be um, creating a problem for herself, which I believe, you know, because um, a lot of personal hygiene care products that she spoke about that that are supposed to be for women. Uh, in my younger years, when I used them, they never did agree with me. I always had to follow up with a doctor because they did something else to me. And I thought I was cleansing then. But it took my body in a whole different route. So, you know, I don't know. Everybody's body is different. Maybe uh, some of these women are having good experiences uh, with this. Uh, maybe some of them are paid actors. How, how do we know what's going on? That's the thing. We, we, we really don't know. So I was just kind of um, up in the air about that and was going to kind of leave that where it was at. Well, then uh, I ended up going on Facebook. I said, somebody going to tell me something about this statement. All this fresh talk and rejuvenation and feeling like heaven and Oh, you get your mojo back and get your Stella back. Look, y'all, I want some of this. I want some of it. So, I said, I'm going to get on Facebook and do some research on here. Well, there was a ladies group on there uh, that was talking about it. So, I was going to ask, but some told me, hold up, don't ask. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't. Because when I went on there, it was some women already in there talking about it and was already asking. And so they had started this big, big, big thread. And y'all, y'all should have saw this thread. Like I said, I, I'm glad I didn't go in there and ask and save myself the heartache and pain, y'all. Oh, some women on there getting whooped left and right. Oh, some chewing going on on that thing. It, it was dangerous. And um, it was, you know, women asking, uh, do they think they should do uh, this V-Steam or whatever? And women were on there and they were saying, y'all inquiring about this V-Steam, y'all must not be clean because uh, all you need is soap and water, you know, and... It was just going back and forth. It was just going back and forth. It was just going back and forth. I didn't know what the deal was. So I just sat back and watched the controversy, you know. So I was thinking, well, no, I ain't going to bother my doctor and call my doctor with this mess because I already know what she's going to say. She's going to say, no, that she doesn't recommend it. So I don't know. Have anybody out there tried this V-Steam method? If so, uh, what did you think about it? Like, what did it do for you? Uh, what type of effects uh, did you have? Did you have uh, a good um, rapport with it or did you have a bad rapport with it? What, what went on? Let us know here at Cougar's Closet. But um, as far as my intake on what I read and researched, like I said, I could never get down to the bottom of it. It was always reasons why you should and reasons why you shouldn't. So, uh, if anybody has had any experiences, good or bad, um, please drop them down in my comment box because I'm pretty sure somebody wants to know. And um, I guess here at Cougar's Closet, uh, how we feel about this, uh, we from the old school. And the best method is... Leave yourself alone. Mwah. Cougar's Closet. Please like, please share, please subscribe.